Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Robert Young of Windsor. Oh, what a beautiful day the Lord has made. How are you, my friends? In this series of lessons called Inspiration from the Psalms, we will look at Psalm number 119. It is the longest chapter in the Bible with 176 verses. It talks about the Word of God or the Holy Scriptures more than any other book in the Bible. The psalmist wrote the Psalms, believed God's Word, meditated on it, prayed the words, and sought to obey God's word. Let's look at several psalm verses in Psalm number 119. In verse 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled or firmly fixed in the heavens. God's word is unchangeable and everlasting. Jesus said in Luke chapter 16, verse 17, it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle or stroke of a letter of the word to fail. Psalm 119, verse 140. Thy word is very pure. Therefore, thy servant loves it. God's word is refined, tried, and true. No other so-called sacred books or writings are equal to or superior to God's most holy word. Therefore, I love your word, says the psalmist. Verse 160. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Jesus, in his high priestly prayer found in St. John, Chapter 17 and verse 17 said, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. God's word is truth throughout eternity. Verse 2. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Verse 40. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts, that is thy word, quicken me, renew me in thy righteousness. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, Blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Psalm 119, verses 11, 133, and verse 9. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity or sin have dominion over me. How can a young person cleanse his way or stay pure? By paying attention to God's word. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 and 2, the Apostle Paul charges Timothy, the young pastor, to preach the word, preach the word of God, have a sense of urgency about preaching God's word in its purity, when it is favorable or unfavorable to the hearers. The scripture further states to convict, rebuke, and encourage people being very patient as you help them understand God's holy word. For the time will come when people will not listen to the truth. May God help us in these last days to believe his holy word, turn away from sin, and seek to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. You've been listening to Pastor Robert Young of Windsor, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.